friends, I'm Crystal and today I'll be showing you how to do art using mainly Crayola markers. These markers are pretty affordable. I have this one from my second grade teacher. I got it as a gift for being a good student or something. Yep, that's me. Always a good student. This one cost $4 and this one was $7 from Target. I bought two sets because I have tunnel vision and I didn't see the 50 marker set the first time I went to Target. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is sketch our drawings. Right now, I'm doing plants. These are actually going to be part of some memory books that I'm making for my friends as graduation gifts. I'll be showing the rest of the memory book making process next week. And here are some of the finished sketches. Next, we need to outline our sketches. I use these Copic multi-liners. This video is not sponsored, but I will include all the links to the supplies I use in the description box. Here's a change of scenery to a place called Mom's Bed to keep things interesting, you know? Now it is finally time to use our markers. Before coloring the sketches, decide which markers you want to use and do some practice on a different paper because it would be quite sad if the drawing is ruined because of the colors. I don't know about you, but it took me about two hours to do each of those drawings and I definitely do not want to redo any of them. I never thought I would make a video like this, not only because I never imagined myself on YouTube, but also because I refused to color things in with markers when I was younger. My belief as an elementary kid was that markers are for tracing and colored pencils were for coloring. I mean, it's in the name. Colored pencils. I saw coloring with markers as a waste of ink, so little me would be nothing short of absolutely horrified at what I'm doing right now. I must have listened to Blackpink's How You Like That at least a hundred times while drawing these. I'm not really a K-pop fan, but some of their songs are really good. Also, this is my first time ever using mainly markers to do art, and through this project, I realized that for someone who has never colored anything solely with markers, I sure do have a lot of them. A few of the other markers I used were Copic, Sakura, Tombow, and Stadler? Try plus fine liners, but most of the coloring was done with Crayola markers. Since Crayola markers are water based, you can blend out the harsh lines with water. Here's the before and after blending with water. I have this water brush pen that came along in this set that my cousin got for me for Christmas, but if you don't have one, you can also use a good old paintbrush and a cup of water. The main downside of using water based markers is that it will warp the paper if you use a lot of water. There probably won't be any warping if you use watercolor paper, but since I'm putting these in sheet protectors, it doesn't really matter for me. Do you like the colors? I can't see anything. I'll be your coffee. I'll be your poster child. Walking like Jesus. I also use this white gel pen to add highlights to the pots to make them extra shiny. And here are my final pieces. I'm really glad that I took a risk and tried something new because look at them. They look so good, if I do say so myself. Okay, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you can see how to make the rest of the memory book. Love you guys. Bye!